Not supposed to. Hang on. Here we are. Okay. Okay, sh bros. I'm not supposed to be here. But uh, I heard that this place is crazy and uh, notorious for uh, sightings. So, uh. <laughs> f f sh what the f? The f? Where the f wasn't stacked before? Where the f wasn't stacked before? Jesus. This was proof. <laughs> I should totally be live streaming this shit. I should totally be live streaming this shit. So I just started by building a rough map or room of sorts. I'm just doing rough blocking with primitive shapes. Now we've added in a camera and we're just keyframing its um, path making sure to add some much needed handheld shakes along the way. Now we texture everything. We start with the floor, then the walls, then the ceiling. This stuff doesn't have to be really good because I am planning on like butchering the final out of this video because I want it to look, you know, quote unquote realistic. So you can just go for like basic texturing if you're gonna, you know, if you know that the end result needs to look vague and covered with noise and dimly lit, then you don't really need to spend hours and hours texturing this stuff. Of course, I then needed to populate my room with a couple things at the very least. I was feeling pretty lazy. I thought I would hang um, posters or, or paintings on the wall, but I felt like this this was good enough. Um, I, I really didn't decide what sort of location this was. That's totally up to the viewer's imagination. I then drowned out all the um, ambient light and added in a spotlight and just lit that to look like a torchlight of sorts. I decided I wanted chairs to be the main element of focus in this video, um, kind of reminiscent of the Blumhouse uh, studio logo intro. So I just thought I'd pay homage to the classic um, movement of objects when you're not looking at them scenario in horror. And it worked quite nicely here in CGI. I bet if they did this in, in, in live action, they'd have to do it with a motion control system or something, I believe. Volumetrics? Yeah, fog. I felt like that was just standard. And of course, because we have this intense source of light in front of us, it only makes sense that dust particles would be dancing in front of it, so um, some fake dust particles. I found this really cool demented nun model online by EW Tube Zero on Sketchfab, and importing it into Blender, I then exported it again for rigging in Adobe's Mixamo software, um, and uh, found a pose in there that I liked. Mixamo is a great way to rig characters that have not already been rigged and to find motion capture data to apply to them. I brought the model back into Blender, made it sit on this chair, made it appear just when the camera was turning the other way. Um, I went in, of course, and animated a little bit here and there just to make her do some subtle movements so she doesn't feel static. In 3D, you don't want anything to just be static if it's alive. So any sort of movement helps, and so she's just moving a little bit after I finished animating her. The rest of it was just me tweaking the camera a little bit more to time in with her appearance and um, just really making sure that I take advantage of the motion blur that I'm going to apply on this. So I, I want to get a lot of that blurred motion from this clip so I can use it later. And what you're seeing now is the actual raw output from Blender itself. Like this is the CGI without any post-processing or any audio added to it. Um, no folly, nothing. This is just like rendered out of Blender what you've been seeing for the past minute. This is what it looks like, the fruits of our labor, if you will. Um, and it's 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 quite boring, really. It, it, you know, honestly, and anyone should be depressed looking at this. So the real magic does happen once you place the sounds. I obviously had a change of mind and added in a clip of me in real life. Um, you know, shot myself in a room with a flashlight and sort of just whipped the camera around and and and, and went back to Blender and and just animated a small whip of the camera before it started um, and just like merged the two so it felt like you know it was it was more grounded and reality like there was a real person there because um, cg characters are just like a dead giveaway that it's cg of course i added 
a shit ton of noise on the footage because I wanted to make it look like it was shot at night on a shitty camera and and of course a lot of calculated folly um, of varying dynamics and as you probably saw in the beginning I did go ahead and add in some freeze frames um, like he's live streaming I know he's not really live streaming in the video and in fact he says he should be but I I, I don't know I just thought it was cool Jesus. This is I should totally be I also obviously re-edited the raw footage to create more tension before the final reveal of the face. This definitely helped. Thanks for watching the video this far, and I know I didn't go into much detail, but this was just supposed to be a general overview of how I achieve this effect in Blender and using some editing software as well.